Good evening, everyone. So tonight I'm doing a, a remake, um, doing a little throwback soaps for the, uh, I guess will be probably late April, early May. I'm still deciding release. Um, and we are going to do a, another uh, skinny shimmy. Um, hopefully I'm going to redeem myself a little bit. I tried to do this soap last year and it didn't really work for me that good. Um, because the fragrance oil kind of sped up on me. So hopefully I've learned my lesson. Um, so that was my lye solution going in, uh, which is powdered sugar, raw silk, sodium lactate, and distilled water. This is goat milk. It's not as much as normal because we are also adding fresh squeezed orange juice. Mmm, Florida orange juice. Uh, this is not from my tree. This is from my neighbor's trees. Um, so... It's a lot more fluid than I normally add. Um, I discounted some of the goat milk and discounted some of the water, but I wanted to have real orange juice in there. Now, when you add, you know, things like orange juice and milk and stuff that's gonna speed stuff up, um, you have to, and speed up is kind of the wrong word. Heat up is really the adjective I'd like you to focus on. Um, because what's going to happen is this soap will um, be hotter because it's got a lot of sugar in it. Um, but it'll make a wonderfully lathered, gorgeous soap at the end. And I'm using a combination of fragrances from Brambleberry. Um, one of which is their Orange 10X, which does discolor a little extra orange because it's actually, um, whatchamacallit, um, essential oil. So before I add my fragrance, A, that fragrance tends to speed up, so I'm not going to make that mistake again. Um, but B, I'm going to go ahead and get these all divvied out and just add my titanium dioxide to my white. So I'm not fighting um, the soaps want to be a different color with the fragrance oil on top of it. Because the white's going to kind of be a highlight for me more than the main soap. So I don't mind if it's not fragrance as strongly as the rest. I need to balance this out. I forgot I got seven. Now when we learned to do this technique in the Soap Challenge Club, we measured each of these out. Um, I hate measuring. <laughs> um, that's not true. I don't mind measuring stuff like, um, like my lye, obviously, my, my water and all that good stuff. It's stuff that's safe and you have to be careful and fragrance oils and calculating those, um, but I can do all that math ahead of time before I'm doing it on camera. And I, I just tend to struggle when I'm actually on camera um, taking the time to do that um, because it takes away from making soap. And that's what I want to do. I want to make soap. I don't want to, you know, here I am measuring stuff on camera. That's, I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of boring. Um, but you guys tell me, you know, do, would you like to see me do math? Please say no. Whoever says yes in the comments, you're no longer my favorite. Um, anyway, but if you follow, you know, other amazing soapers like Lisa of I Dream and Soap and Tree Marie, there's a lot of really great soapers who do a really good job with their math and their calculation. Um, but I just want to make soap. I want to get going. I want to get moving on it. Um, so we are going to go ahead and get our colors in here. So that is our white. And our white's going to, I'm going to try to make it the highlight. We'll see how successful I am. Um, you can see even though there's no, <laughs> there's no fragrance oil in this yet, it already is kind of a, um, it's not a strong white, it's kind of a orangey white, but that might be as good as it gets. I'm going to try adding some more titanium dioxide once to get everyone else blended in. Let's get our other colors blended and we'll see what we're going to do. Um, anyways, when you do a skinny shimmy, um, the idea is um, speed. You want to be kind of quick. And the other thing with a skinny shimmy um, that I find that is helpful to do for me, and I, I'm not, I'm not super ambidextrous. Um, my mother was, fun fact, um, but I'm not. So I, I like to have everything set up. You can see I have one here and one here, so I can just pour quickly instead of me trying to, you know, turn it around. And I, I don't have time for that. It needs to go. Um, story of my life, right? I'm always in a hurry. Um, these are all um, colorants from Nurture Soap, except for the titanium dioxide. And I've actually not mixed any of these colors except for this one. This one, um, I think, is atomic orange. 
it's atomic orange and a little bit of eye of the tiger and some titanium dioxide um but the rest of these are just kind of straight and it's literally like every single orange that nurture soap has to offer there's like a yellow orange neon and a red orange neon and a, there's like a bunch of them anyway so that, that's what all this is um basically and um part of this was i just kind of wanted a bunch of different oranges it's the essence of orange um and the other part of this was i've got um i won last year i won a all the micas collection which was super super cool Ooh, i'm out of stickies um and so when i won it I had like this, <laughs> this herd of mica jars that are living in my drawers. And I am, I tend to, when I like something, I go and buy a large amount of it. And that's, you know, that's the end of it. Uh, but that's, that's not really good. I need to actually use these guys up. So this is a way I could kind of use up some of those colorants. Um, and, you know, in a useful way. So here are all of our oranges. Let's go ahead and add our fragrance oil. Am I ready to do that? Do I want to make you whiter? I need a little bit of titanium dioxide to this. And I pre-mix my titanium dioxide. Um, and I use it the same way. Um, I do it the same way Lisa shows in her videos of I Dream and Soap. Um, if you do not know who Lisa from I Dream and Soap is, but you somehow found me first, um, I'm amazed and hi. Um, but you need to go watch her videos. She's fantastic. Um, anyway, so I, I do it the way she blends her titanium dioxide. It just helps cut down on some of the little, um, undissolved chunks that titanium dioxide kind of likes to do. Um, but I still sometimes get some white specks in my soaps and it happens. It happens. All right. So now we've got all these guys blended. Let's go ahead and get our fragrance in and shimmy along. I've also got some little soap dough um, pips, for lack of a better term. It's the name for the seed inside an orange is a pip. So hopefully we can make them all work. So we're going to go ahead and blend this in. Now this is going to change color. Um, and I kind of find with this um, fragrance or essential oil, fragrance oil combo, what you see is kind of what you get. So if you like what you are seeing in here um, it doesn't morph too terribly much it does change to an orange but which is why i used a bunch of oranges but it doesn't it doesn't go like tan or funky on you so just a little fyi for anybody who's um you know sees that that essential oil discolors to orange from brambleberry um it's 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 decent it's not you know this isn't going to turn like all like a weird wonky brown orange color. It'll, it'll behave itself. Um, so I'm going to get this mixed. And I also blended it with um, uh, orange peel from Brambleberry, uh, which I really like quite a lot. It's one of my favorite epos. And then I also, just to be a little clever, used uh, some yuzu. Um, from Brambleberry. Now Yuzu, it can speed up a little bit. You have to kind of watch it. Um, so that's my, it's my little, got to be careful and watch. I'm just going to kind of scoop all these out and make sure these are clean because this is a quick pour once you got your prep work done. It just makes a lot of dishes. And these oranges aren't terribly different from each other. Um, they're kind of close. So I'm going to just try and uh, put the lights and darks across from each other um, because with this pour every other pour is where the layers stack right so when I say that what I mean is um, when I pour this in like let's say I want to do this kind of darker orange for the bottom right so I'm going to pour him in first and then the next color that I pour is gonna be a little bit of white because I want the white to kind of look like the separation. But like I said, it's every other color. So I'm gonna pour along here. I'm gonna save a little bit for the top. I'm gonna to pour a little bit of white, which won't be as fluid this moment because the, um, the orange actually does deaccelerate the batter a little bit. So I'm just pouring that in just for future Whitney's. 
help. Okay. So now when I flip it this way, I'm going to pour a really bright orange. Um, and then am I going to light orange? I want to go a light one. Let's do a light one. Let's go this way. So now I'm going to, again, I'm going to pour down the wall here. Ooh, I forgot my seeds. Oopsie. See, I forgot something. It's so well behaved right now though that I'm not super stressed about it. I do want you to go in though. I don't want you to be popping out. In, 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 in. Thank you. Okay. And let's do our next color. And then we'll do the darker orange on the other side. And the idea is to get, you know, again, you're pouring down the wall. You kind of want it to tuck underneath the other soap, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. I'm going to throw some pips in there so each bar has a little pip. A little bit more. Okay. And again, I'm saving some for the top. And now we are going to, what color do we want? Let's do this real obnoxious orange. I like it. Oh, white. Now I'm going to try pouring a little bit of white first on this side and seeing if that will help me outline it more because I want, I want this to be outlined a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to want to do. And again, you're pouring down the wall of the mold, which I'm sure people get sick of me saying, saying this. A lot of these pours I like to do involve pouring down the wall of the mold, but I repeat myself because it bears repeating and it makes a difference if you do it this way. If you don't, um, you tend to get some weird turbulence in the middle of the mold and it doesn't look very good. I don't want you over there. I want you in here. Thank you. Okay. And I don't want you out. I want you in. How much is left? Let's do a little bit more. All right. And now again, I'm going to do some white just on the back end. I'm not sure what this is going to look like. I've actually not done this like this before. So we will see what I get. And again, I'm going to do some white. Just to kind of push that over. And these oranges are really close together, so I'm going to try to separate them. Oh, well, that's going to not be good for me in a minute. All right. Let's a couple seeds in there. That one actually may do everything it's supposed to, but I'm just... As an abundance of caution, let's put you in. Okay. And all right. A little leftover. Again, a little white. Okay, and flip. A little white. Okay. Let's do this kind of lighter orange. Okay. Again, we're going to add a couple seeds. I'm not sure if you guys can hear my kitten in the background. I can hear her crying at me, which kind of cracks me up a little bit. All right, and now we're going to do this darker one. And again, I don't have a whole bunch of white to do, but we are going to try to get some white here. And, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. It's really an old. I just want to be able to control this because I don't know how good this is going to work. I'm 
Uh, it's working. So what I'm doing is instead of pouring down the wall, I'm pouring in the middle, but I'm trying to kind of push this over and I'm slowly letting the mold down in my hand, which I'm not sure if you guys can even see that. So it's still pushing it over. Ooh, got away with it. All right, let's tuck a couple more seeds in here and tuck the seed down. Down, please. Down, down, down. Down you go. And we'll put another seed here. It's a very seedy orange. There's a joke in there somewhere. Do one more here. I don't want you to curve though. In, 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 in. Okay. Okay. So I'm being careful as I'm pushing this in to not go too deep because I don't want to screw up. I don't know where this ends inside. I want to punch through the other layer in there and I may have, we'll see. Time will tell. And now let's just do a nice little simple top and um, call it a night. Clean up my mess here. I love this pour because it's very simple. It just, it, it's also very messy. Uh, which is pretty much me. Um, simple and messy. A memoir. It's a little title in my book one day when it comes out. You guys will be like, oh, I remember when she named that soap. She was pouring I made this ridiculous mess of an orange soap. And that's when she decided to title her memoir. Simple and messy. Okay. Let's take you over here. Clean all this. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I just kind of cleaned up a few things there. So now we're just going to take our oranges. Let's try to do like a little baby ombre, shall we? So we've got you. Oof, that is bright. You, you, you. You're kind of dull. All right, so that's kind of our order of go here. Let's start here. I think this is already the color we have. This is so fluid still. I really like it when my soap makes me a liar. I was really worried this was going to speed up on me and it actually is really well behaved, which doesn't always happen for me. And part of that might be all the extra fluid. I usually do a pretty decent water discount, but I didn't with this soap um, because I wanted to keep it fluid. I needed that fluidity. You can see just how close these, these oranges are inside, which is why I was trying to use that white to kind of highlight them. Which hopefully that worked, we'll see. Ooh, oh, kind of drove over my friend there. Let's go get some more of you. Put you back where I found you. Here we are. Okay. Okay, and our last one, which is this kind of cream sickly orange. And then we'll add just a touch of white to the end, mostly for interest. Hmm. Should I separate that with more white in between them? Yeah, let's do it. Make a messy, happy little swirly swirl. Where's my toothpick for my chopstick? 
You know what's really funny? I actually have, I can find it. I have like one chopstick that I like and I wish I was making that up. Where is it though? I don't see my, oh, there it is. It's like my lucky chopstick. This is my lucky chopstick. I, I, I wish I was making that up, but I'm not. Oh God, I'm crazy. Should I clean up my edges some more? Yeah, we probably should before we make an even bigger mess. So I'm just trying to scoop some of this into here because the soap is actually so fluid still that it's, I'm not gonna be able to, to um, use my paper towel like I normally do. So I'm just kind of swooping it in, taking away some of the volume. So when I cut this tomorrow, um, all these parts that are kind of over here, that's stuff that I'm gonna have to eventually like cut off the soap, each bar. Um, or, you know, if you're smart, like Trey Marie, you'll do it before you start cutting, but I'm not that cool. Um, anyway, so, um, that, that's just why I'm doing this. It's just trying to help future Whitney, um, which is nice because I'm not always very nice to future Whitney. She gets stuck with a lot of stuff that, uh-oh, boo, that I don't feel like doing sometimes. So sometimes I like to be nice to future Whitney and make her life a little easier. And yes, I am speaking of myself in the future tense, which, um, Probably another insight into my mental health, um, but hey, we're in a panini right now and um, I'm a nurse, so I can't say you were surprised. My mental health isn't always the best. All right, can you guys see that? Yes, you can. So we are just going to, do I want to do this? Yeah, let's do that. I'm being very, very, very shallow because if you remember, I have all those little seed pips under and they're like just under the surface here. You can see me hit them there. And then let's do a little of this. And this is actually a swirl that my brother, Clover Soap Works, does quite a bit. And it's pretty. And I, I don't do a whole bunch of them, but once in a while, um, you know, just looks kind of nice. Kind of looks like orange creamsicle y. So. I'm gonna pour the rest of this into some extra molds and um, let this set up a little bit more so I can do this. Is this gonna work? No, probably not. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So thanks for watching.